That makes sense. They look like dwarven puzzle boxes to me. <laughs> We're joking. I had to I had to say it. Come on. So we are Meet Lashari in the Dancing Nomad. It got dark really quickly. I just realized. But to the Dancing Nomad we go. Oh, I should have used the teleport sign. It's still going to be quicker to go back through this door, to be honest. Oh, hello again. Have you heard it? Apparently, the Blue Islands Coalition sent an emissary here. Okay, we are going to the foreign quarter. Not as if I, didn't I get so turned there. around sometimes. It's fucking un unreal. Okay, yes. where is Lashari? You was bored and see what you can find in the old portrait. Oh, you're not from around here, are you? In my laboratory. Oh fuck! What the? Prophet, are you in there? Kirat, what? Why? What have you done? I could ask you the same thing. Uh, nothing. She was already dead. What? What? No. I will not accept this. I will not accept this. Damn it! Forgive me. This is simply too much. Yes, as I know, Naya. But she was a good woman. We both know that we're not involved in this. So please tell me why you and Lashari wanted to meet up here? Were the two of you close? It's I'd like to think so. There was a man at Lashari's side. No. No, it wasn't like that. So why? Seems there's a traitor in Ark. Someone who, from our, among, uh, among our own ranks, Lashari wanted to tell me who was behind it. The assault at Resengard. What? Then. Then this bastard got wind of it. Oh, Kirash, Lashari, why the secrecy? Maybe the murderer has left a clue. We have to search. Search for hints. You feel the shower's pulse. The body still has warmth remaining. But she's dead. Rip. I mean, if she's still warm... <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Well, I know what I'm looking for, but holy fuck, fuck that shit. She's quite hot though. Can't, can't complain. What's this? Let me see. Yes, this could be our clue. A glimmer dust bottle? Couldn't that belong to Lashari? No, certainly not. But come to think about it, it doesn't really help us either. There are so many dust addicts in Ark, it would take years just to count them. That's true. Oh, by the name of the sun, I will inform the order. 
Shouldn't we keep searching? Yes, yes, you do that. But come back to the temple as soon as you're finished, all right? The Archmagister has found something out about those sources we need for the beacon, even though we paid a high price for it. Completed. Discuss next steps with. Some people just don't know their path. Fucking rip. And she hasn't got anything. I really need a new herbal essence for my hair. Well, fuck. That's just how it is. Everything Still would. In the old days. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it had to be said. So where are we going? Are we going back? We're going back up to the Sun Temple, okay. Uh, this sign... Post is over here. Sun Temple. I'm so glad they added these signs. Like, I did want to explore and... All that good stuff first, but... Um, just along. getting round now, it makes life so much easier. Now that we've explored most of Ark. I think we've got most of the quests for Ark now as well, so. Yes. A machine that can banish these high ones. The mysteries of this world are endless, aren't they? Ah, if it isn't the Prophet. What's wrong? You look troubled. <sighs> the Shah is dead. Someone murdered her. I know. Shah Rim has already told me. I hardly knew her, but it's horrible. Different ideologies or not, she was a fine young mage, and her knowledge of the Pyrenees was impressive. We need to find the ones who did this, and fast. But you probably already know that. Thank Malfus, we just had a breakthrough with the beacon. Yes, Lucian just told me about that. Does that mean we know what we're missing? At least as far as the sockets go, yes. In the old tablets you found an old Dothugrad, there's talk of black embers, which are supposed to be some kind of energy supply for the machine. Black embers, any clues where these could be? This is what we've been asking ourselves over the past few weeks. And then it fell like pelt from our eyes. The Pyreans were talking about the black pearls. Old jewels, sometimes known as black stones. They appeared for the first time in the Golden Era, and every self-important noble literally fought to get one in his possession. Apparently, they originated from Stormwind, the old city in the heart of Arctwind. They changed owners for decades, sometimes by violence, sometimes by gold. The whole thing only stopped when the owners took note of an undesirable side effect, if you like. What? Huh. Let me guess, these stones were somehow cursed. No, at least not with any known magic. And that's what's so strange about it. Okay. Nevertheless, all of their owners eventually shared the same fate. Countess Katua from Nerim, for example, whose castle burnt down to its foundations. According to a survivor of this tragedy, she was to blame for that. He claimed that he saw her the night it happened, laughing hysterically and dancing in the dining room and summoning waves of fire all around her. Huh. She was not previously known to have any magical talent in her. These jewels somehow gave uh, their owners magical powers. Correct. Plus, all of them eventually showed similar symptoms of delusion, like those possessed by the Red Madness do. A peculiar coincidence, if you ask me. That's one way to put it. What happened to the word got out of public? What these stones were cursed? Not quite. They... Those who owned a pearl tried to get rid of it, or lock it up somewhere safe, and eventually they fell into oblivion. Tell him your theory, Archmagister. Uh, yes, of course. <clears throat> we believe that the stones carry energy, pure, uncontrolled magic, and that the High Ones use them for their own purposes. You mean the High Ones use these pearls to deliberately drive people into madness? Correct. The pearls' magic make their owners powerful, but the High Ones befoul them, so to speak. Like a poisoned potion. I know it sounds odd, but the parallels are too striking to ignore. The red shimmer in the victim's eyes, the slow descent into madness, and ultimately this irrational, destructive act of violence. Hmm. 
But all of this happened centuries ago, didn't it? I thought the High Ones only appeared just before the cleansing. That's what we thought too, but it seems we were wrong. Maybe the High Ones never leave our planes at all, even after the cleansing. Maybe they are even part of this world, just like the tides or the elements. And the death of the gods is only what really sets them rolling, so to speak. But why, why, why did High Ones get out of it? Why would they want to do that? That's a question I've been asking myself since we first learned of the cycle. Who knows? Maybe they like for us to suffer. Or maybe they see us as we see ants, whose lives simply mean nothing. Or maybe the very concept of intentions is meaningless to them. I see. And uh, you think the uh, magic of these Blackstones could give the uh, beacon NG needs? That's what we think, yes. Nothing else in this world possesses that much raw power. Which is why you will find them for us. Of course I will. Of course I will. Uh, but if the High Ones poison these stones, is it dangerous for me to bring them here? No, because we know what we are dealing with. Unlike those who fell victim to the stones. Imagine them as a powerful, magical sword. A fool won't know how to wield it and will eventually cut himself with it. A seasoned warrior, however, can use its power for his purposes. Which doesn't mean, however, that we will be careless with them. What we need is their energy, and once we have transferred that to the beacon, their shells will be useless to the High Ones. In other words, without the energy of these stones, the beacon is useless. Correct. And how exactly are we supposed to find them? Didn't you say they are scattered all over Vin? That's right. But we don't need all of them. The beacon has three sockets, and that is how many of the stones we will acquire. Archmagister. I studied the history of the pearls as a young arcanist, and I think that my notes might give you some hints as to where you should start looking. Give me until tomorrow. By then I will have prepared the relevant excerpts. Alright, anything else I should know? Just come to me whenever you have questions. Okay, sounds good. Wait until... This, but Nerimi's troops are roaming our land and building outposts. And the Red Madness is also getting worse as we speak. Now go, Prophet. The sooner we find these stones, the better. Okay, sounds good to me. Good deal. One good day. deal. Okay, guys. Give me a second. I'll be... Give me a second, guys. Give me one second. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we have got to wait until our command made magister has, uh, Done his shit. There is a few other things, but I think I'm just going to sleep for the night. Um, I don't think there's much more that we can do. Okay, so let's go to the marketplace. Oh. 
chicken. Buck, 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 buck. Let's just sleep a good 12 hours. Maybe we just sleep enough time so that we can go back and speak to the Art Magister. I really want to do some more of the main quest, honestly. The Ghost of the Bottle. Confront him? That doesn't sound good. Let's sleep another 24 hours just to make sure that we get the other quest going. I don't think there's any more side quests that I want to do for the time being. I just want to get, you know, I just want to go. There we go. Fetch notes about the black stones from Art Magister Merialia. But we've got to go and confront this guy. What? Oi, what? you! Morales what blessings, you? my friend. Your bloody potion didn't work. What? What are you talking about? The potion you sold me a couple of days ago, and it didn't work. Ah, yes, certainly. Uh, the, the potion. So, I was right about it, wasn't I? By Morala's silken hair. How strong and healthy you look. The embodiment of raw and spicy manliness you are. Are you kidding me? You're a fraud. This potion is bullshit. Well, um... Oh, shit. I had hoped you wouldn't know this. Here's your game penny and the money you paid me. Game penny? Completed the ghost of the bottle. Game penny? Oh my. You haven't seen much of this world, have you? Nope. The game penny. It is a symbolic guerdon a Killian merchant pays to his customer if he or she... Well, you know. If he tries to fraud them. Fraud. Ugh. Such an ugly word. We Kilians consider every human being to be able to decide for themselves what they believe. But forgive my demeanor. I sometimes forget which country this is. We Kilians always like to say, a good haggling is like making love. No matter how it ends, Interesting. having had, it is better than not having had it at all. But since this is not Kile, uh, I'll give you a discount on my wares. That should be enough of a compensation. Don't you agree? Huh. Farewell. Oh, hello. Mana. So you're from Lee, right? Did you flee from the war over there? Well, flee isn't exactly the right word for it. I call it tactical relocalization. Only a stupid businessman will try to sell spices amidst a civil war. That's true. Uh, what do you think of uh, the people on Clay think about the rumors that the gods are dead? Well, um, they are blasphemous. I think we've already heard what this else? one before. The gods have reigned win for millennia. I've Whoever already heard this one. one. Oh, well, very stupid if you ask me. And very bad for the economy. Now, look at that. Sun, the controversial recruit? So, how are you? Sun Temple, please. There's so many signs. I just realized there's like three signposts in the market. The fuck? Oh. No, you move along, lady. Let me to fucking move along. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? Actually, I'll speak to you on Hello. the other side of the desk. Yes. Why can't it ever be easy? Did you uh, gather those notes? Ah, yes. Here. There they are. I've marked the most relevant parts so you don't have to read the entire book. Just see if they tell you anything that could give you a clue as to where you should start searching. I will be waiting at the beacon. Sounds Pat good. Christmas. Completed. Part of the men's part four. The Black Lights. Part 1. 
Find the black stones, yes. read yes. Lexil's notes. Okay, let's read his notes then, shall we? Oh, we actually got to read this. Written by Lexi Majerama on the, uh, yeah. The first moment I had the, and I, I, and so question remains that the quarries in the lineage of the Gallus are ultimately not so blamed on the Black Stone. It's certainly that Jaro Gallus, whose fascination for rare materials was commonly known, brought the stone from a peddler from Kira for a sixpence. Presumably without being aware of what it actually was. The steroid descendant Kirit Dagalas became of the mightiest men of all Enderal due to the business of his noble house. Despite that his evidence, Mathurda Catcher traits Triton had and had and had certainly fondness for tradition and cherishes his father for collection of stones like it was itself. If someone had to make assumptions of where about the black stones on, Enderal would have been, it would have been well advised to seek the knowledge of De Gallus himself. He's the, uh, I'm sure he's the golden sickle guy. Second bookmark, I, I, I to this day, one of the black stones remains in possessions of the Andralian noble house Del Veric. Oh shit, even though today it is almost utterly obliterated. Excluding two offsprings, it is debatable where the Black Stone is currently located. Just as debatable as to where Dalveric even knew about the nature of this relic, I, as a starting point, would be the estate of the family, although it has certainly burnt down during a tragic accident three decades ago. I, it is known from the Order that the Apothecary was at one point in possession of a stone, however, searching for more details concludes in vain. The Apothecary claims. Persistently, it was lost, yet knowing what to make of these, was questionable. Started a song in the silence. Entered this El Cretan's estate. Started all the dead of the souls. See Jesper in the dancing nomad. Started Angel. As the Apoch theory about in the Undercity about the Black Stone. You mean... Holy shit balls, that's a lot. Bonnie Pocket's Black Stone. You Jace's you know Black Stone. True, yep. Least. Let's go speak to uh Jaspar first. Me things. But yeah, we've got a lot of shit to do. But yeah, let's do Jaspar's quest first. Yes. I love how this is this this building is mainly a corridor. Like it's just a corridor to get down. <laughs> 